When astronaut Stuart Rusa boarded for the Apollo 14 mission on January 31st, 1971, he wasn't alone. He was carrying a canister the size of a soda can filled with 500 seeds from various tree species. And almost 50 years later, some of those so-called moon trees are still growing across the United States. Before the mission, Rusa, a former smoke jumper for the U.S. Forest Service, received a call from Ed Cliff, the chief of the service. Cliff proposed the seed cache as a kind of experiment, but also a fun publicity stunt. Let's see whether the seeds will grow after being exposed to zero gravity, radiation, and the other perils of space. As the command module pilot, Rusa didn't actually touch the lunar surface, nor did the seeds, but they did orbit the moon several times and gained plenty of exposure to space conditions. So once Apollo 14 splashed down back home, the seeds went into quarantine along with the astronauts. And though their canister broke open in a vacuum chamber, the seeds were fine, and most of them germinated. A few years later, when the seedlings were ready, they were planted in areas around the country, mostly as part of bicentennial celebrations. But the stunt didn't get as much press coverage as Ed Cliff had hoped, and NASA's own site notes that no formal list was ever implemented. So NASA's Dave Williams cataloged the believed locations of various moon trees as a passion project after getting emails from a few curious citizens who found little moon tree signs or plaques. Williams' list includes about 80 suspected moon trees, some of which are no longer alive, but many are still thriving. A sycamore in Birmingham, Alabama, several redwoods in California, a pair of sweet gums at a Forest Service office in Indiana. Because moon trees weren't formally tracked or studied, they don't really offer us any insight about seeds in space, but they can be a quirky addition to their locales, and a meaningful one too. Alongside the headstone of Stuart Rusa, who died in 1994 and was buried at Arlington National Cemetery, a moon sycamore still grows today. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.